Now let's look at this figure 21-48. And we're going to deal with the dispensers located around a gas station. Now notice at the very top of the illustration, we're going to look at a class 1 division 2 boundary in accordance with our table 514.3B1 and B2. Now the ANSI 87 you see there deals with inside the pump and where there's no barrier or something is class 1 division 1 inside. But basically this just shows in the uh, uh, horizontal direction 20 foot out is a class 1 division to location up to 18 inches as you see there again in our uh, table uh, 514.3 B1 and B2. Now notice uh, in the gas station you see there if they have a doorway there and that room inside the filling station is not pressurized or they don't have an air conditioning system to keep it well below the ignition temperature of a gas or vapor and so forth, then the inside is a class one uh, division one, 18 inches, as you see there as it extends out 20 foot. Notice this sometimes. You have those dispenser pumps closer to a filling station, a little store inside, fast, uh, fast you know, uh, grocery type then sometimes you'll, you'll come around the building and then the door will be to the left of that 18 inch boundary so that you don't have to classify inside and there's a solid wall on the uh, wall facing the dispensers. Now it's one of those three things. You either have the door located away from the boundary or you pressurize the room or you have air conditioning in there with a cooling system that you know it's well below the ignition temperature of the gas or vapor were the authority having jurisdiction in 90.4 would okay such an installation but here we're just looking at the horizontal boundary of those pumps now to the left right below the gas station then you notice four foot up 18 inches out is a class one uh, division two but inside the pump is a uh, class one division one in accordance with the dispenser in Ireland below there with the arrows. It's ANSI 87 that deals with all the components inside the pump. But now looking at the island itself with the dispensers, notice that you're going to count out 18 inches because that's a class one division two and then from there it's 18 foot six inches on that giving you a total of 20 foot uh, overall. So uh, we get a class one division two boundary around those uh, pumps as just illustrated to you. But if you want to get a good handle on it and uh, get more information, just go to your table 514.3B1 and B2 as well as 514-11. Now the next thing we inspect is a vent that has a down charge and it's all the uh, way down usually is what the inspector will say because that vapor if it's heavier than air they look at that and it could settle down to where any kind of equipment was there so they locate it out of that circle there where you would have class one division uh, one out to two foot and class one to uh, or class one division one excuse me out to two foot and then to three foot, you would have a class one division two there. And so that's what that's kind of illustrating. But notice that goes all the way down. And, and that's something that we do and make sure as electricians or inspectors, we don't allow nothing underneath that vent. See where it's above like that. And then you have uh, where you uh, fill the tanks, which is embedded in the earth. And notice loose connections is 10 foot. Now what's that? Well, when they start filling it, the vapors escape. They escape from the fill opening. But now, if that uh, if it's a tight connection where it has the hose that when they uh, put the filling, uh, uh, you know, equipment in, it will telescope 
and it will make a tight connection, then it's only five foot as you see there. So we're inspecting our wiring, loose connection or tight connection there, and you see how those boundaries will extend out. So we have to look at that loose connection, 10 feet out, nothing can go there without you're rated for class one division two location, if you're in that area. Five foot out then would be for a tight connection. And all those boundaries are found in the table, as you see there, 514.3B1 and B2. The field pipe, same thing. You, you look at that same table, but it'd be B1 and B2 again. And, and table 514 and article 514. So this kind of gives you the classification of the area and then where it's not a classified area in accordance with 514.3a because you're out of that 20 foot uh, boundary there. Now we're going to uh, look at a, a couple of examples with that coming up. But the next illustration is going to kind of uh, give an example of what this illustration is talking about. But this uh, uh, figure 21-48 is illustrating the classified area and the unclassified area to the user of the NEC.